No, no. What sir <coughs> Neeraj Shekhar was telling was about the importance of the question hour. I do recognize that. Please cooperate for the question hour also. Sri Nambam Rebia. Nabam Nabam Rebia. Sorry. Nabam Rebia. Arunachal. Yes, sir. आगे से पीछे पीछे से आगे हाँ स्टेब्लिशमेंट ऑफ नेवको रिजनल ऑफिस इन इतानगर इन अरुणाचल प्रदेश इन माई last speech i have mentioned here arunachal has one third of country's hydro power potential and uh, nepco has successfully completed and commissioned three major hydro projects in arunachal 405 megawatt uh, ranganadi hydro project 110 megawatt uh, pare project and recently 600 megawatt coming project therefore we have number of competent local engineers in nepco therefore we are requesting now nepco have got a region megale in shillong which is around 700 kilometers from itanagar therefore our request is to have the nepco regional office established in arunachal that's it thank you sir thank you sri suresh gopi honorable chairman so This क्या है ये मास्क है बियर्ड है बियर्ड बियर्ड माय न्यू न्यू लुक सर अच्छा नेक्स्ट फिल्म अब द नेक्स्ट फिल्म सर दिस इज अ स्पेशल मेंशन रिलेटेड टू अ सर्टेन ग्रीवेंस फ्रॉम डिफेंस सिविलियन पेंशनर्स एसोसिएशन मलबार रीजन कन्नूर इन केरला सर इट्स अ ग्रेट कंसर्न दैट देयर इज नो सीजीएचएस एम्पैनल्ड हॉस्पिटल इन कन्नूर केरला under its cghs wellness center it is apparent that the su super specialty hospitals are not ready to join in the cghs because of the low rate of package offered to them by the scheme as a result of this thousands of cghs beneficiaries are denied the inpatient treatment in such private super specialty hospitals though they are entitled and eligible for treatment had they been empaneled according to an observ observation by the honorable supreme court of india in april 2018 the central government employee or a pensioner cannot be denied entitlements if the beneficiary went for treatment in any hospital and the claim shall be reimbursed within a period of 1 month however the number of representations received in my office shows that many beneficiaries still await to get claims reimbursed even after 2 to 4 years hence i wish to put forth a prayer on behalf of the of these cghs beneficiaries to the ministry of health and family welfare to take proactive steps to revise the package rates of cghs provided to empaneled hospitals it is also learned that many good hospitals are ready to empanel themselves in cghs if the package rate is enhanced by the government of india thank you very much sir thank you abdul wahab abdul wahab. associate you have to send the name legal remedies for compensation for wrongly prosecuted our demand is the recommendation in the 277th report of law commission of india regarding wrongful prosecution miscarriage of justice legal remedies be implemented with utmost priority and immediate effect these are suggestions that shall be considered in this concern establishing special courts for speedy justice remedy capable of being availed even by the legal has an agent of victim summary disposal of complaints interim compensation of at least 25000 to uh, 1 lakh depending on the nature of the case overlooking in limitation period if sufficient cause uh, found defined but not exclusive factors to determine final compensation sir 
the government must acknowledge the ills of the fake uh, convictions and redesign the existing system to ensure accountability and provide victims with just compensation. In our country, unfortunately, instances of such misuse of power by police officials, including illegal detention, custodial death, brutality and torture are fairly routine. However, to date, there is no set of guidelines issued by the no, court. You are adding something on your own. Quantum of Mr. Wahab, you are adding something on your own. It is high time. It is high time. Uh, we are a democratic nation. Follow the lead of international standard with regards to delivering justice to the victims of wrongful, wrongful prosecution. The government should urgently legislate statutory or legal scheme for compensating those who are wrongfully incarcerated. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Vishambar Prasad Nishad. मैं आपके माध्यम से एक ही मिनट टाइम बचा है प्लीज हां महोदय गरीबी रेखा की आय में विभिन्नता समाज में आर्थिक समानता को दर्शा रहा है समान जात के गरीबी रेखा वाले व्यक्ति आय 8 लाख रुपए सरकार द्वारा तय किया गया है और अन्य पिछड़े वर्ग के गरीबी रेखा वाले व्यक्ति 48000 रुपए ग्रामीण और 1 लाख रुपए कमजोर अन्य पिछड़े ओबीसी के लिए 8 लाख की आय सीमा तय करने संबंधी आश्वासन को लागू कराए जिससे आर्थिक रूप से कमजोर अन्य पिछड़ी जाति के गरीबों को लाभ मिल सके थैंक यू क्वेश्चन नंबर इज गोइंग टू टेकन अप आई वुड अर्ज अपॉन द मेंबर टू बी ब्रीफ एंड शार्प इन देयर क्वेश्चन सप्लीमेंट्री